Pluto had it coming from the beginning, it was like it was never really a part of the solar system's planetary hierarchy. Pluto's orbit crosses that of another planet, and that's no kind of behavior for a planet. Pluto, the mysterious dwarf planet at the edge of our solar system, is causing a stir in the astronomical community. Recent reports suggest a looming collision with Neptune, sparking concerns among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Renowned experts, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have raised alarms about the potential consequences of this celestial clash. But how exactly did Pluto find itself on a collision course with its distant neighbor, and what could this cosmic collision mean for our existence on Earth? Join us as we delve into the terrifying event unfolding between Pluto and Neptune. Pluto, once considered a full-fledged planet, was later reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its unique orbit. Despite this change, it continues to captivate and engage the astronomical community. Recent predictions from prominent scientists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, highlight a concerning proximity between Pluto's trajectory and that of Neptune. These experts are cautioning about a potential collision between the two planets, posing a significant threat to Earth. The distinctiveness of Pluto's journey around the Sun lies in its unparalleled characteristics within our solar system. Its orbit spans an extensive 248 years, and since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not completed a full revolution. What adds to its intrigue is the highly elliptical shape of its path, a departure from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Additionally, Pluto's orbit is marked by a 17 degrees inclination to the ecliptic plane, making its path steeper in comparison to other planets. This combination of inclination and elliptical nature introduces layers of complexity to Pluto's orbital pattern. A notable aspect of Pluto's orbit lies in its intersection with Neptune's path. During approximately 20 years in each orbit, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging expectations based on their respective positions in the solar system. This prompts the question, why hasn't a collision between Pluto and Neptune occurred? The explanation lies in the gravitational influences exerted by other planets. The examination of Pluto's orbit commenced shortly after its discovery, presenting a puzzling trajectory for astronomers. Unlike the majority of planets whose orbits align relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's distinctive features include a steep inclination and an elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these intricacies serves as evidence of the complexities inherent in space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves understanding the movement and gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. It resembles predicting their trajectories based on initial positions and mutual gravitational influences. In Pluto's case, this problem elucidates the intricate interplay of its path, Neptune's path, and the gravitational pull of the Sun terms like asthma libration, latitude libration, and the VZK oscillation contribute to unraveling this celestial puzzle. Astrophysicists assert that asthma libration, responsible for maintaining planets in their orbits, plays a vital role in the context of Pluto and Neptune. This term signifies that when Pluto intersects Neptune's orbit, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, crucially preventing potential collisions. Latitude libration, referring to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit, ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is situated significantly above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection against collisions. A key factor in understanding celestial motion is the VZK oscillation, named after three scientists, von Zeipel, Lidov, and Kozai, who explored the gravitational interactions between three space objects, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. The VZK oscillation explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears unusual but remains smooth over time. Despite the apparent randomness in space, underlying patterns and rules maintain order. These factors collectively stabilize Pluto's orbit, preventing collisions with Neptune or deviations from its course. The three-body problem helps us understand how the gravitational pulls of these space objects influence their paths. Studying this contributes to our knowledge of Pluto, our solar system, and distant celestial bodies. 
Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite stable properties, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic, with minor initial deviations leading to significant differences over millions of years. However, Pluto's unique orbit maintains stability over incredibly long timescales, keeping chaos in check. Recent computer tests have enhanced our understanding of how large planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun-Neptune special connection, where it completes three orbits for every two of Pluto, contributes to stability. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role, and Saturn has a smaller impact. Together, these tests show that the combined influence of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn ensures Pluto's safe and stable movement in space for billions of years. These phenomena are crucial for maintaining the order and predictability of space's movements in the universe. Without these mechanisms, the solar system would be a place of greater chaos and unpredictability, potentially leading to collisions or ejections from stable paths, causing a ripple effect on other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is crucial, especially amid discussions about the potential collision with Neptune in the future. This knowledge provides a clearer understanding of the dynamic nature of the solar system. Pluto's case highlights how seemingly unstable orbits can reach equilibrium through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. Continuous observation and study of these phenomena are vital for gaining a better grasp of our position in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often reveals the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit serves as a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, illustrating the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is vividly demonstrated in Pluto's case. Even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or velocity can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Computer simulations have been instrumental in helping scientists understand how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematical models to mimic the gravitational interactions between Pluto and other celestial bodies, such as Neptune. By making small adjustments in the simulations, astronomers can observe how minor tweaks can have a substantial impact on Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed an intriguing aspect of Pluto's path. Despite features like asthmal libration and latitude libration that contribute to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still exhibit unpredictability. Even a tiny initial difference in Pluto's position or velocity can lead to significant changes in its path over many years. Despite this inherent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an exceptionally long time, extending over billions of years. This suggests that beneath its seemingly erratic appearance, Pluto's journey around the Sun follows a structured order. Predicting cosmic events, especially with planets like Pluto that have unpredictable orbits, is quite challenging. The inherent unpredictability of these systems makes long-term forecasts uncertain. Numerical simulations help us understand and anticipate the future paths of celestial bodies, but they also reveal the limits of our predictive abilities. These models heavily depend on accurate initial conditions and simulate complex interactions. Even a small error can lead to significantly different outcomes, making precise predictions difficult. The chaotic nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, reminds us of the ever-changing universe. While we've made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights our ongoing limited knowledge. Understanding the gravitational influences of giant planets on Pluto's orbit gives valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It demonstrates how each planet's presence and position can affect the stability and trajectory of other bodies in the system. Despite these complex forces, major astrophysicists are now expressing concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune. This raises questions about why such a collision, which seems unlikely given these intricate dynamics, is now a topic of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist who played a key role in making astronomy popular, offers a special viewpoint on the mysteries of our solar system, particularly regarding Pluto. Tyson, famous for reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet instead of a full-fledged planet, shares insightful thoughts on how our understanding of celestial mechanics is always evolving. People's fascination with the unknown parts of space, according to Tyson, 
sees Pluto's reclassification not as a demotion but as a necessary adjustment to our increasing knowledge about the various objects circling the Sun. His approach to celestial mechanics involves continual learning and adaptation. He views the complexity of orbits like Pluto's as a reminder of how much more there is to discover in space. Tyson believes that the allure of these unknowns is what makes astronomy so captivating. Additionally, Tyson is aware of how space-related events and discoveries shape public interest in astronomy. He thinks occurrences like Pluto's reclassification and its unusual orbit are opportunities to capture the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes counterintuitive aspects of space mechanics, he opens a window for the general public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of the universe. Working alongside other scientists, Tyson is actively cautioning the public about the potential danger of Pluto's unpredictable path. After studying Pluto extensively, he has raised concerns that the three-body problem might pose a real threat, suggesting that a collision with Neptune is long overdue. Additionally, he emphasized how such a collision could disrupt the balance of the universe and lead to catastrophic consequences extending to Earth. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be an unusual and catastrophic event in our solar system. This collision would release a massive amount of energy, likely breaking apart Pluto due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the collision could scatter across the solar system, posing potential hazards for other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an impact could potentially alter its atmosphere and orbit, depending on the specific details of the collision. Michio Kaku, a well-known theoretical physic, ist recognized for his work in string theory and science popularization, offers a unique perspective on this scenario. His views on the future of space exploration and the connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics provide deep insights into phenomena like Pluto's orbit. Kaku sees the study of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can offer crucial insights for future space missions. This knowledge can assist in navigating the solar system more effectively, predicting potential hazards, and planning missions to the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's orbit can be applied to explore other celestial bodies.